So let me do a quick tutorial on how to do fancy buttons and indicators and multi-screens and panel view, talk studio or whatever it's called, Alan Bradley. Um, here's a simple program. It's basically got memory bits and I got lights on so we can see over there behind me when the lights actually turn on. Um, and as you can see, if I toggle this bit here, it, you can see a yellow light turns on. If I toggle the bit, it turns off. Oh, if I toggle this bit, it turns off. So pretty straightforward. You know, so I have two little setups with memory bits. I've already, in Factory View Talk, I created a screen already that is a base level to go off of. But say I want to create a second motor. So I have a second operation and I want to run both of them. And this is off of one. If I go into my connections, you can see it's already set up in my memory bits. I've already gone in and set up my communication. So this works if I hit play. If I hit play, you'll see that if I hit start, in theory, the motor shows up and you should see a light on my back. And if I stop, you see the light turns off and the, this turns off. So this is the default state. You can get really fancy if you want. This is where HMIs are fun. So if I want a second screen, I can go right here and just say duplicate. And I can call it MOT2. And now I have two motor setups. Yes, that is a flaming mode from The Simpsons. Um, that's what I was playing with originally. So now I go to connections and I can change, just need to change my tags. So motor two, hit okay. Now it's still gonna show up like the motor two. But let me get a little bit more creative with my buttons. So if I go up here and right click on properties, I can change this to colors that's fancy, but what if I want one of those fancy push buttons that look like Alan Bradley? First, I'm gonna go in here and change my tags to start two, so that I don't forget that later. But if you look right here where it says image, this is where you can get the fancy push buttons from the global image library, and I'm gonna show you how to get there. Click on the three little dots and this will show up, this image browser show up. Hit launch library, okay? So now, by the way, under nature is where you get the flaming Homer, or flaming Mo. But I got these 3D push buttons that look rather nice. I also have other push buttons like gadget buttons that look more like Alan Bradley's. And you can see that there's a pushed in one and knit one. There's a, you know, there's a, uh, other push buttons that are lit up and not lit up and you can honestly tell what's going on got lights there if you want um but here's some gadget switches and let's just have fun with it so which one should we do let's do one of these because that way I want to push in. It looks cool. Oh, let's do a 3D button. How does that sound? Because here's all these 3D buttons right here. So here's what I'll do I'm at state zero. So let me first highlight what my natural state is. Okay, for my star. Highlight that. Hit copy. Paste from library and hit OK. I would always do Im scale the image. And if you want to get rid of all the back style, make it transparent and um, no border, you can do that. OK, but this is remember, go into state one and find the, the companion button. So the pushed in one. Copy, paste from library. Now hit OK, make sure you have everything else set up, so scale it. Um, you can get rid of your, your text and hit apply. And now look, pretty fancy button. You can make it bigger if you want. And now I can do the same thing for the stop button. Go to properties, states, I'm gonna get rid of that, I'm gonna get rid of that. And remember, this is a normally closed button, okay? So state one, I want my, you know, and you see here the value is zero in state one, and you can see the states are a little bit different, the value it's feeding. So state zero is actually feeding a value of one. 
So watch that when you're programming. So I'm gonna launch library and I'm gonna find my e-stop buttons. Gadget button. So there's a bunch of e-stops here somewhere. Or not. Yeah, here's some e-stop buttons. Up, down, you can see it kind of up or down. So, so I'm gonna do a large e-stop button up. And there's, it's subtle, but there it is up. So I'll copy that and I'll paste from library. Okay, then I'll go to my other state, open it up, launch library, find the companion down, copy, paste from library, hit okay, make sure you scale the image because I kind of forgot to do that, hit apply, and you can go back in and get rid of your borders and stuff. Okay, so there it is. I have an e-stop, I have this, and I have a flaming mode that's going to show up. Now, you can get really fancy with your objects, and all I did was, and I'm, I'm going to add an object right now. So if you go to objects, go into indicator multi-state. That's what I like to use. You can also go into drawings here, and but that gets a little bit funny with the uh, animation. So I just like to do uh, indicator multi-state, draw the box, and here I can change my states. So I have two states, I can do two states. Nothing raised, uh, transparent background. Um, I can do a, anything I want. So let me go into states. So when it's zero, I can keep it blank. State one, I can load the image. And here's my flaming mo, hit okay and hit apply now, now again i've got to scale it i can also make the image blink make sure you hit your connection so this is motor two hit apply make sure this fits your what you want it to look like and now i can test it out Did uh, I forget to make this connection? Probably did. Yep, still stop one. Oops. See, this is why we test. And there it goes. It's starting, 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 and then I hit the stop button and it closes. But this gives the operator some tactile feeling and if you're pushing something. And now here we go. But now I have two screens here. How do I, how can I call both of them? This is where I go to my main. Under display navigation, I can get a display list selector. Draw it in right there. And say I only got two screens. So state one, I, you know, State two, cause M2. And you can use display name. And now look, I got the two indicators right there. Um, I can now add uh, navigation buttons, cancel, undo. This is all touchscreen, but if I want to, I can add these navigation buttons here. I can make them more fancy. And if I really want to make things, 
I can put an enter button in right here. And everything is pretty much as we would expect. Up, down, enter. Okay. Now, the next important thing is make sure you add another uh, navigation button. So another navigation is a, is a go, I would always do a go to. And this is where you go to main. Label main and apply. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to go to the second screen. And I can leave that there. I can remove my shutdown. And I can put this here if I wanted to. Same with the other one. Now, if you test this out, it will not work in this just play setting. You have to actually test the whole application. Okay, so now I have three screens and I can go between all of them. So now let me go to application and let me test application. I'm gonna hit save changes to all this, save changes. Yes, I'm gonna save change to everything. It's gonna load up. It's going to give me an error in a second. I'll just go with it. Um, it's trying to load there. It's giving me an error. Now, this just showed up. I'm going to hit continue and yes. And let's see. It's starting the application. I'm going to share my screen, or I'm going to share So there is my application. And see, I can click up and down here. And now I can hit Enter. And look, it takes me to my motor, too. And if I click on the push button, look, it's starting. I can hit Stop. I can go to main, I can toggle here, start, stop. Everything's functioning like I want it to. Pretty cool, huh? And if I go to main, I can shut down and now I'm, I'm back to sharing my screen. So now I can just load everything. So let me go to my transfer utility, or I can no, I gotta create my application first. And remember, you need to match all of your, and mine's an 8.0, so I'm gonna hit save. It's gonna create the application. Um, I hit transfer utility. It's creating the run, you see it's creating the runtime. Just give it a second. So I'm gonna go into my HMI screen and shut it down and get it ready to go. Once it's done. And maybe I'll zoom in on for you. So hit my little three little buttons. There's my there's my application, hit open, find my um, panel. I know it's this one here. And I'm going to download a transfer.
download is complete. And I'm gonna just do the webcam itself over here and see if it will just go. I'm gonna load application. Load, hit yes, it's loading up. And once it's loading, now I hit run. And now I can go between the two, hit enter. And if I want to hit stop, stop, there it goes. I can go back to main, hit enter, hit my stop button, start button, main, stop, main, stop, main, shutdown. Pretty cool. So that is how we do uh, two screens and multiple screens and, mul and multiple fancy indicators. Uh,